I'm sure people are more uh, sort of familiar with forensic pathology uh, because that gets publicized in the media much more often. But pathology is way much more beyond that. So anatomical pathology is studying tissues, you know, biopsies that are taken for diagnostic purposes. Cytopathology, we look down, you know, we look at cells and examine cells to make a diagnosis. Then we have immunology, and that's concerned with every, you know, autoimmune diseases, for example, the diagnosis of autoimmune diseases. Then it's also concerned with hematology, non-cancerous conditions in the blood, like anemia, for example, or lack of blood or you know, low amount of blood, micro, clinical microbiology, and that looks at all the sort of infections and infectious diseases that can cause disease in humans. And then we have chemical pathology that looks at all the various blood disorders um, that pertain to human health and disease. For example, those who are used to doing executive um, checkups every year will of course know that you come in and you have to do your blood glucose levels, uh, you have to do your cholesterol levels, and all these form part of what we call chemical uh, pathology. Then the, we have forensic pathology, and that's concerned with medical legal issues, concerned with, for example, uh, suicides and murders um, and so that's when the forensic pathologist comes in and the field of pathology is constantly and constantly expanding to now we have molecular pathologists who deal with genetic disorders looking at genes and um, being able to have cutting-edge technology to be able to now diagnose disease.